up, my sweethearts. My uh, Los Angeles sweethearts. What it do? My sweethearts, get your like this all the way up. Um, we gonna really have a real good talk, my sweethearts. My Los Angeles, really all my sweethearts, but my Los Angeles sweethearts that's dealing with this right now. The nurse, Nicole Linton, my sweethearts. Put your lights up and come to the front, my sweethearts. Let's go. All right, my sweethearts, your girl Jennifer Emma really just wanted to come and talk to y'all about this. This nurse that's about to get 90 years to life, right? And they go out to bust her with murder charges. And all, oh, right? Must be all for that crash that she did down in Los Angeles. I just gave y'all a case. I'm going to run a little bit to y'all. I just gave y'all a case in Jamaica um, where a man had sliced a woman, you know, um, and, and basically her kids also. That's a murder charge, you know. That's murder charges. But... On some real stuff, my sweetheart, this is how crazy this world is. This one, this woman, I'm not saying that she don't need to do life in jail for taking people's lives. No, you do. You don't just take people's lives. All right. But it's crazy how I don't even think they giving this man 90 years to life plus murder. You know, giving him all that. It is crazy how certain state, city, countries, whatever is different. It is. It really is. Now, this young lady here that sped out there, crossed the uh, you know intersection, made that big old accident, things like that, right? First of all, yes, Jennifer Emma really think that was fucked up. I do. Excuse me. First of all, she's a nurse, okay? In my head, a nurse is sweet, you know, sensitive and things like that, so... Trying to make an accident, a crash to harm anyone, I am I mean, I feel a certain way about that. Come on, a nurse, you know? I know y'all like, a nurse, yeah, you're supposed to help people. So that's a nurse job, helping people. So to make an accident or to try to cause any type of harm to hurt people, I'm really, like, distraught on that. And that's probably played a lot on this judge sentencing her. like. They took a lot, you know, a real good look at that. That's like you serving a country, but you coming out um, killing people, uh, robbing banks to kill people. No, you probably be serving countries to, to help people. So this is how they probably looked at her. Like, this is a nurse. She worked at all these hospitals. I see you. I see you. Um, units, too. Not just hospitals. I see you. It's an I see you nurse. So... They probably expected more from her. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I heard one of my sweethearts ask me, Jennifer Emma Rillers, what you think about this? I feel, you know, I can't switch up. I run justice for children. This woman here killed families, babies. She killed unborn babies. Yeah, she did a lot of that. So, like, I keep running. I keep saying we have no excuse for no babies. We give no excuse for babies. So this is no different. I give no, we have no excuse. I have no excuse of, to give to these babies, these children, when these families coming up like, why my baby's gone? Why my grandkids gone? Oh, um, she might have, uh, you know, she might have got angry because somebody said, um, drive or she might have, I don't have no excuse. I don't. So, when they want to walk this this uh, nurse here from Los Angeles that did this horrific, horrific thing, because she did. I mean, I, who is me to say no? Uh, don't give her 90 years to life. That's a long time. It is. But, I mean... This is the first time, my sweetheart, I have heard when you have an accident, like if people been if people have died, they switch they uh separate murder charges. This is my first time hearing that because usually like if someone have an accident or cause an accident and people die, you know they just put it with the accident. Like, oh my goodness, there was a car accident, she killed four people, you know. They don't say, um, we gonna switch this up. I mean um, change it, and, uh, charge it as murder charges, that's what I'm like, 
Woof, this girl is going down. This woman is going down. I mean, you got 90 years to life, and you going to get charged with murder charges. Murder charges. So, like I said, once again, my sweethearts, I'm going to read off to y'all some of the stuff that, you know, I found disturbed because, yeah, she took a lot of lives. I don't know what was wrong. They said she was not under the influence of drinking. So, my thing is, you's a dirty motherfucker. What's up? What's really going on? I didn't, the realist didn't hear her car was messed up. No, what I did hear was this lady had 13 previous crashes. She did this 13 previous times. So I say, Doug, walk that bitch. Yeah, I do. I do. This is fucking destroyed. 13 previous crashes. So you had 13 of these already? That's fucked up. So 13 times you did this, so what, 13 more families of dead, what? Did you kill 13 more people? The speed limit. I mean, they said she was doing like 90. What? I'm not accepting that. And in your Mercedes Benz. Killed five people and an unborn child. That's sad. It was sad to hear people that was going to doctor's appointments. It was a lot of doctor's appointments and with baby well checkups. You took a whole family life. Excuse me, my sweetheart. I need something to drink on this one. Took a whole family life. And what I mean by family, the mother, the father, the child. And the new child. So my sweethearts. Here one of the victims. That was out there right. A Sherry Ryan. Unborn infant. And it say. A Sherry Ryan unborn infant was ripped from her body. After the ICU nurse. Nicole Linton's. Merck rammed them. Mercedes my sweethearts. This is crazy. Ashuri Ryan and her family were on their way to a doctor's appointment for a pregnancy checkup when the tragedy occurred. Are you serious? So I know I don't have no excuse for this. So like I said, we just sim uh, skimming through this, my sweetheart, because I find this jacked up for real. Ashuri Ryan, 23. Was eight months pregnant, or eight months pregnant, all right? With her second son, Armani Lester, when she was killed, along with Armani and her one year old son, Alonzo, Armani's father, Reynold Lester, Reynold, Reynold, I hope I'm saying his name right, Lester, along with two women in another vehicle. Yet to be identified were all killed in the car accident. ICU nurse Nicole Linton was caught by surveillance. And I know y'all already seen this, my sweetheart. She was plowing her Mercedes at a high speed, like I said, 90 miles. Crashing into six cars and breaking a red light onto the busy intersection at Windsor Hills. The hor excuse me. The horrifying crash caused the vehicles to collide with each other. So that's why. The, okay. So that would make all the flames. Because when I seen the uh, when I seen this happening, I thought she crashed into something, and that's what happened, like a pole. So she uh crashed. So when she came through, she uh caused the cars to collide with each other. That's how they burst into flames. What? No. A few, a few feet away from the gas station? No. This family here, my sweethearts, was on their way to the hospital for a pregnancy checkup, like I said, when this accident happened. And due to the crash, the unborn baby was ripped out of his mother's womb following the death. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, 
That was my family. I done went fucking nuts. You hear me? Went nuts. The prosecutors has also charged Linton with Almighty's murder. They say he was both born and died on the same day because of the accident. So they are charging her with that. The car, the crash immediately split, split the other family's vehicle in half. Alonzo was thrown through the air from his car seat, landing at the feet of a witness that tried to save the baby, but he was gone. His body was found separate from his mother. They going nuts. This the shit that's not getting broken down on the news. Because you know they can't break it down. So I'm going to break it down real easy for y'all. If y'all do feel bad about the lady doing 90 years to life. Y'all need and, and then got the murder charted. Y'all that sadness need to come to be gladness. Because guess what? This shit is unbelievable. You out here hitting... Uh, doing 90 miles, you ain't just kill people, you, you ain't kill mothers, you ain't, uh, uh, sell here and made these mothers have these babies, have the babies, this is an unbelievable accident, babies coming up out of bodies, what the fuck y'all think gonna happen, you ain't no better than nobody else, this ain't no regular accident, this is a horrifying accident. Now they're trying to always run with these mental issues. If this woman got so many mental issues, yes, the realist is fucking saying it. See, I'm the channel going to say what the fuck no one else saying. So, yes, that's just what it is. If this lady got so many mental health issues, this woman is working with fucking people. Patient. Six hospitals. How she working at hospitals? And y'all talk about mental health issues? Okay. I didn't know that. Okay. Okay. And then they really saying... Linton's real motive for her ferocious driving still remains unclear. Like, they don't even know. They don't even know why. So, if y'all ain't gave me nothing yet, like, she was drunk out of it, uh, uh, lost it, car went off. Like, nah, this is, no nah, hell no. This is unacceptable. All these families dealing with all this. The one family. This still said, but her whole family is gone. Then you got this one with the baby in her. Her family's still out there. I know they are going baz oh, oh my bazonkas. Bajonkas, bajikas, badikas. Any word that sounds fucking crazy, I know they are going it because they are like, what? An accident. And the baby is gone. Oh, they is like, hold up. I would be like that. My sweetheart, after seeing this, I would be scared, terrified to drive again. Because it was people who wasn't driving and got hit. It would terrify you. Oh, my goodness. So, like I said, she had worked six nursing jobs in five states over the past two years. This is crazy. And if she's so sick, how could she work in these uh, healthcare systems? I'm asking that also. Especially in the ICU. The ICU? You know, come on. Intensive care unit? Come on. So how sick was she? If she could keep up with that. With that. But like again. The attorney always got to go with the. They crazy. The attorney got to help them out. 
This is something else. My sweethearts. I just wanted to give y'all a breakdown. My sweethearts on, on, on some of the stuff y'all are not hearing. Like, you know, you heard um, that she did this horrific crime, you know, but I want to go like a little more into detail with y'all. You know, just in case if they did not break, like, some stuff they can't say, you know, directly on the TV. Come on. It don't make no sense. Mmm. That's sad. A son was taken away. Um. Someone, uh, my sweetheart, let me slow it up. Want to see justice served. I don't blame them. Maybe then, um, they could forgive her. But now she took my son away. So someone's son been taken away. They will never see him. See this? So she took a, a, a child. It just don't make no sense. Mm, mm, mm. So, all right. She took somebody's baby. Uh, uh, a baby that was in someone. A uh, womb. This lady did a lot. She took a family. And uh, another person that was pregnant. So, like I said, on that type of stuff, my sweetheart, uh, I don't know. 90 years of life, hey, if that's what it, if that's what it is, that's what it is. Because, like I said, she killed a lot of people. And the most distraught one, like I said, all of them are distraught. Don't get it twisted. But the most uh, scurious one, my sweetheart, is that one when the baby, an unborn baby, come flying out the mama. It, it, from a car accident, a car crash. No, that's uh uh. And then a witness have to see that. A witness that a baby in front of them. Nah, nah. I swear, if, if like I said, if that was me out there to see that accident and a baby head fell in front of me like that, I'm going to the uh police statement. I mean, police. Um, I can't even get it out. But I'm going down there and give my witness statement to the police. That's what I'm trying to get out. I'm giving statements after statements. If I could talk to a judge, and I'm not no red to two D ass police judge type bitch, but that right there needs to be described to the judge. And I need to like really tell him why this woman do not need to come home. Straight up. Straight up. I'm not accepting that one. I'm not. I mean. <sighs> I know some people uh, that I have seen talked about the case 90 years seem like a lot. 90 years seem too harsh. My thing is, I have done other cases where the crimes were more horrific and they have got lighter sentences. I mean, I have. I've never heard of 90 years and things like that. And I have been doing um some horrific cases, my sweetheart. That's what I was coming in with this. Just like the one with the Jamaican man, I had, I didn't hear them just bust out with the, oh, he's going to get 90 years to life plus murder charge. You know, I haven't I ain't heard them, like, drill him like that. And I think his crime that he had done was, was more horrific, taking down children and things like that. But, yes. So, this world, like I say, is crazy. I know each state have their own type of law. Own type of years and sentencing. But some shit I just cannot accept. I couldn't. This lady here killed six. Like I said, the baby coming out the mom, that just, that's her unborn child. That took me to another level there. Another level. So, yeah. Um, anything else I want to look at that, that we could talk about that really got me? It really took my eye to another level. Like I said, I do think she need to get the max. The max. She should. She and then do I think if you ask me, if I'm trying to answer questions, I know y'all probably would ask me. Do I think um Jennifer Emma really should she get uh the death penalty? I mean, what is it? Life? Yes, I I mean I do. I do because she didn't just do an accident. She did not. She didn't just do an accident. She killed kids, children, babies, babies that didn't even uh wasn't even born yet. So I think this this crime, yes, is horrific. Yes, I do not think um no, I don't think 20 years. No, no, that's nothing. That's nothing to things you have done to these babies. 
No, even the parents, but babies, families. No, uh-uh. I think she should get life. Yes, I do. I do. Because, I, I mean, it's no reason. It's no excuse. I, I didn't hear nothing. Must be awesome. I'm going to um, give y'all a little more, and then I'm going to wrap it up. Witnesses say, witness say, you could see the people on fire, and that's just said. I really pray for the people and the community. And I bet it was said. You seeing people down there, you pumping gas and just see everybody on fire. The unborn child's death is considered a fifth fatality. Fatality, According to the CHP, the unborn child died due to rare circumstances. Okay? Witness Veronica said that she was pumping gas, like I just said, when the incident took place. Sorry, my sweetheart, if y'all heard that. Somebody doing work outside. Okay, witness Veronica said that she was pumping gas when the incident took place and described how the child landed on the floor in the middle of the gas station. I was about to pump gas and all of a sudden, I hear all of the noises from all of the collisions and then the fire explosion, and I saw things, metal, and things flying in the air. So I just covered myself behind the pump, she said. All of a sudden, a baby literally flew in the middle of the intersection to the middle of the gas station, like I have told y'all. One of the workers came and saw me with the baby and took the baby out my hands. Somebody tried to... Uh, resuscitate the baby, but the baby was gone. My sweetheart, just imagine being in debt and seeing that. So you know people is going to really sit up there and go against her. Look what they witnessing. That is sad. That girl, babe, the girl... The young lady that died, they had the baby ripped from her. Her younger sister, Shashina, helped with the funeral causes and all that. She organizes fundraising, a fundraiser for their mother, Sharita. This don't make no sense. Like I said, it was a lot, my sweethearts. They got to sit up go fummies for these babies. The unborn one it is bad. So you think that we're going to give this lady a light sentence while all this is going on out here? These families is in distraught like this. I don't think they give her no lighter sentence. They not. They're going to go on with that. And, and like I said again. I, I I mean this lady deserves life. Come on, look what she's doing. Like I said, you can't stand up and take and uh, take responsibility and you can't take nothing. These babies ain't deserve that. Well, no one, the parents, nobody, but still, this did not this nah. Mm -mm. So whoever, like I said, doing the cases on the Nicole Linton, my sweetheart, if y'all feel light on it or things like that. Hey, it's your girl Jennifer from the realest opinion, my thoughts, whatever I decide to say on my own, and that's just what I feel, because if somebody can sit out here with, I mean, just go out here and take lies from, I mean, babies, not even, like I said, not even, um, born, the baby's alive, but the baby's in you, you know that's crash is something vicious, ain't nobody got no excuse for these families. They want to know what happened and why. Why? So, yes, my sweethearts, we're going to keep up on this. And, um, like I said, she's about to go to uh, trial and all that stuff. So, this only part one. I was breaking down what y'all probably won't, what y'all what did not hear, my sweethearts, because, like I said, some things they will not just dig it in and give you the facts you not on no news. Not straight up on no news. Because some stuff is just, you know, they will not say it. Like, when I heard about this, I heard about a lady, yes, who uh who drove through the intersection, but just, uh you know, caused an accident. 
I know she uh, hurt people and things like that, my sweet loves, but I didn't know babies was coming out of parents and things like that. I did not know that. Whole families dying, mother, father, a child on the side, a baby inside of another mother. Are you serious? Unacceptable. So it's your girl Jennifer M. The Realist, my sweetheart. Please like, share, subscribe. Sorry about that damn noise out there, my sweetheart. Hit that bell to be notified for your girl. Hope your like just was all the way up for this Los Angeles uh, nurse, quote-unquote nurse. I can't believe this nurse would do this. Not thinking, not putting others before ourselves. Are you serious? That's why this is part one. We're going to dig into this one. My sweet I'm just giving y'all a little bit more of uh, when they start sentencing or when they go to trial. It's your girl, Jennifer M. Norellis, and I'm out.